want to watch this episode if you're curious whether or not artificial intelligence and technology is leading us down a negative path, leading us down, in, in my vernacular, a dubious path. All right, so here's what's interesting. The value of who we are, the value of other people, is based on what I believe are two components. It's based on the belief system that, that that person has and the shared experiences that that person has or that you've shared with them. So you, your value of how you perceive somebody else is based on both the belief system that you have and the shared experiences that you have with that other person. All right, so what happens when you're looking at Facebook or looking at Google or looking at the plethora of smart apps that deliver you exactly, notice the fingers, exactly what you want to see. What those apps are doing is based on your selections and your choices, based on your friends' selections and choices, is presenting you information that is in line with your belief systems. And as a result of that, it's creating new shared experiences that reinforce your existing belief systems. So what happens if you surround yourself with a set of friends who have belief systems that are slightly in different than yours? What happens if the belief system you start out, you start out with is more closed-minded than potentially other people's. What happens is AI and these algorithms are encouraging you to reinforce that closed-mindedness. And so what needs to happen? How do we need to think or act or, or do things differently? I believe it absolutely starts with the youth, but it starts at any time you want to be young. Any time that you want to question whether or not what you believe in, what you know, what you know, um, what what's going on, whether or not you want to you want to question, is there another side? Is there another point of view? Are there multiple places I can go to research different points of view and then I could choose what would be the best approach? So imagine if the algorithms were structured to also incorporate other points of view. And we knew that so that we were continually learning and growing and potentially, in many cases, changing our mind. Ever make a decision about something where uh, tomorrow that decision you're going to make is different than today because you've changed the input, you've changed how you're thinking, you've changed your point of view. Well, as humans who are constantly growing, evolving, and, and understanding the world in, in new and hopefully better ways, what's important is not to reinforce our closed-minded systems, but rather to reinforce an open-ended, open-view point of the world, to reinforce an opportunity to learn and grow and look at the world in a different way. And so what I will encourage those people who are building artificial intelligence and algorithms to help give the participant who's actually using your tools what they want to see is to also throw in that that random opportunity for them to see something new, to see something more, to explore further, to get rewarded points for seeing both points of view, to do what you want the children, the youth to do. And that is to see multiple sides of the equation and be able to choose what's the best for the scenario you're in today. To have, as Brian Searson would say, situational awareness, not just of, of negative things that might happen to you, but situational awareness of the situation around you and be able to react, react appropriately based on that point in time. So, is artificial intelligence and uh, the types of things that are happening in today's world creating a more negative world well, it's allowing people to live and to reinforce a particular point of view, which in some cases, depending on whose point of view and what side of the point of view you're looking at it, is jaded. So how do we fix that? 
how do we make sure that people can see a bigger picture, a much more broader picture, a much more robust picture, and then make decisions based on their belief systems and what they're being presented? So that's an open-ended question to you, is what is next steps and how do you make sure you're always asking yourself the question, is there another point of view I should be listening to? What this session focused on is how do we combat the, the negativity that can result from the algorithms presenting things which are on a point of view that might be relatively closed-minded and continue down that direction. And the way to do that is to continually ask the question, is there another point of view and what should that be and how can I look at it? And if you do that on a consistent basis, you could still choose the point of view that you currently had, the belief system that you had may reinforce that, but at least understanding somebody else's point of view and a series of other people's point of view will make you a better, more humane human. Thanks, take care, bye now.